Happy Cinco de Mayo. What a beautiful, wonderful day to celebrate, uh, enjoy some good food, and, um, and especially celebrate the Mexican culture and heritage that is in our lives, especially if you live in Arizona like I do. Uh, my name is Andy Ross. I'm pastor at Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. And I love the uh, Mexican culture and flavor that's a part of our town. Uh, but really, it's a part of our country. Uh, I, this is Mac, one of my pet birds. <laughs> and I've got to tell you, uh, it's a special gift to me. Uh, Mac is a bird who came from one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. I love Mexican food. And uh, the restaurant closed. I'm still grieving, and uh, as a wonderful gift, one of my kids gave me this bird, which came from the restaurant uh, for me to have and enjoy. So I thought I'd introduce Mac to you on Cinco de Mayo. And let's think about Cinco de Mayo. Um, if you're like me, uh, I was much too old thinking it was about Mexican Independence Day. It's not. That's September 16th. But Cinco de Mayo uh, really kind of started from what I've read about a small battle where the Mexican people won. Um, but truly, Cinco de Mayo has come to mean for many of us a day to celebrate and appreciate the relationship between Mexico and the United States, Mexican-American relationships. And this is where Romans 13 comes in. Uh, on our daily reading uh, of the Bible today, the letter portion comes from Paul's letter to the Romans. And in Romans chapter 13, Paul lays out some very special insights. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. And then going down, we read, this is why you pay taxes, <laughs> uh, for the authorities are God's servants who give their full time to governing. Give everyone what you owe him. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. I deeply respect and try to honor those who serve in our United States government, local and federal, statewide. But we can also honor and respect other countries and governments and people and cultures and races. Today, I wanna to just give a shout out for the country of Mexico, uh, for what Mexican culture and heritage means to me. It's just incredible. I'm from Ohio, and Ohio culture, you know, brought us uh, Jello molds, um, Miracle Whip, maybe fruitcake. <laughs> but oh my goodness, from Mexico we get salsa, mariachi, art, color, um, and I have to say on a very personal level on my trips to Mexico, as a tourist and as a mission worker, I've been blessed every time from the heart of the Mexican people I've encountered. Their joyfulness, their faith, their uh, commitment to family. Um, I could go on. Today's Cinco de Mayo. Today's a good day to remember to respect those who are around us, those who serve in government, to pray for our governing leaders, to respect the nations in our lives besides the United States that are a blessing of goodness, like Mexico, and, uh, and to celebrate the relationships God puts in our lives 
whether it's family, friends, our community, our city, our region, where we can respect and honor one another. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Wednesday. Lord's blessings and peace with you.